If I say land rush, you'd probably think about the Far West with cowboys and Native Americans, but there's actually a land rush going on right now. Um, with my research, I'm trying to understand how do we trade large portion of land internationally and how this will be affecting food security and climate change and sustainable development in general. I would have never imagined that I was going to be invited uh, to present my research at the World Bank, which clearly was a great opportunity. Uh, and then um, I was really surprised when my most recent article uh, was featured as a cover story on the journal where it was published. Um, it is not a classical economics article, there's no numbers, it's more a brief history of land in economics, so it's a bit more philosophical uh, essay and it is great that it was picked by the by the editors as the cover story. Land is a very peculiar and complex commodity and through land uh, we can understand very important challenges like uh, food security, climate change, uh, sustainable development and so on. But most importantly we can understand human beings because the land around us where we grew up uh, defines our individual identity and our role within the community more generally. The University of Reading is really committed to promote open research at the moment and it is great for early career researcher because you can get a lot of advice from peers that are active and get feedbacks on your data and publications. But also through open research, you can share the findings of your research through, uh, with the general public, uh, and which I guess ultimately is the civic meaning of being a researcher, trying to improve a little bit your community. The graduate school has been of a constant support throughout my PhD journey from very silly and boring stuff like admin documents and, and paperwork to a continuous support in settling down in Reading and, and make the best out of my PhD journey.